working on this Audi A4 and we're doing the front springs. We already did the rear springs. So right now we're about to put these front H&R lowering springs on. First thing is we're pulling up this plastic cover. I believe this is all that's on it. Let's see. Hold on with a flat blade. It should have two clips, but one of my clips is missing. Yeah, we're missing one, so we just only got one. Yeah, the plastic clip. We're just the plastic clip and the, cover the whole come cover out. comes out. Comes out. Lugs are already loose. Jack the car and pull off the lugs. That's how you get your rim off. First thing we're loosening is the sway bar right there, 16 millimeter. It's using a flat wrench and the short socket and regular ratchet. 16 bolt loose now. So this is loose. It came off of here. The sway bar. Yeah, the sway bar. So the next thing is this bolt right here. Is it 18? You need an 18, 18 flat and an 18 socket to take this off. Put a flat wrench or a socket in this side and then on the other side we got the nut which is where I put my flat wrench or socket. I got the bolt and nut loosened. I'm just going to use a punch on the other side here and knock the bolt out all the way. I got this bolt out now from down here. So now the whole shock assembly is pretty much loose. But now there's an 18 millimeter right here that has to loosen so once again flat wrench and a socket to loosen this all right this bolt and nut is now loose this just slides right out and that's what holds the shock in to the fork arm, fork arm. so i'm going to spray it with some penetrating fluid ahead of time to make it easier right with a flat plate yeah wedge your flat blade in here to make it easier to come out. The hardest thing to get out is this right here and you need a specialty tool for this. This is a 16 millimeter so once you get this bolt out these have to pop up and off and it's very hard to do. At least on this car it's really hard to do. We're doing it our own way. To get this 16 millimeter bolt off we took the nut off and then put the impact on this side and just kept the adding flat wrenches and prying against his head to get it out because this was really stuck. Even with a lot of penetrating fluid, it still was stuck. But now it's pretty much out. It should come out the rest of the way right now with a couple taps. And there it goes. For these things, to pop these out, we're gonna try a ball joint, separated fork, and try to pop these out. So that's just the way we're gonna do it. How we get it out is we use a fork, pickle fork, ball joint separator right there. Raise up as much as it will go and then put a bolt and a vice grips and then tap it out the rest of the way with a sledgehammer with a bolt and a vice grip. And that's how we're popping it out. It's not the correct way to do it, but it's the way we're doing it. All right, loosen the four bolts up top for the struts. One there, one there. And there's two under this cover. One there, one there. There we go. And this out. Yeah, we need an 18 millimeter socket to just pull that nut off. That's it, it's off. And take it apart. Pull the old spring off. Put some grease on the insulators, the lower, and some on the upper right there. And then we're gonna put the new spring on and bolt it all back together. There's another one on there. Yep. And put the nut back on. Let's make sure the springs are seated into the insulator. And the correct there, uh, the ends of the springs are seated into the rubber correctly. We 
got this special A team that we can put a uh, Allen through the middle, so that's what we're using. And yeah, just tightening it up. Yeah, reassembly is the same as the removal process. We're just gonna throw this in there, catch all these bolts back on. Yeah. Hold it in, slap those back in, tap them in with a hammer. We hold it with a C-clamp. Yeah, we squeeze them in and then we hold it in with a C-clamp and then slide the bolt back through and tighten it down the nut. And then we just, yeah, install back the perch holder and sway bar and the bottom bolts and everything. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna speed through this job real quick and get it done. Yep, because it's late. Yep, it's late. The springs on the Audi were fully installed yesterday night. So, yeah, you drove it home, so it drove well, and this is it, fully settled. It's sitting super low. We've got the new black grill on there. We did and that. The yeah, and the fog lights. Oh, yeah, want to them, yeah. So we got new gloss black grill and fog lights on here. Oh yeah, we did the upgrade as well to the coil packs, and we did plugs. Yeah, upgraded coils. The R8 coil packs. And plugs were already done. And yeah. the ECS bypass the well, diverter valve diverter valve was done as well. We're doing a full ECS exhaust next, so that'll be our next video. Pretty much that's it for. Uh, yeah, that's it for the spring. Soft that's set. it for the spring soft set. We did put the rubber on top of the shock backwards, so we had to pull that back off and flip it though. So that was one mistake we made, but we figured that out pretty quick.